In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, the peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar bin Abid and you are watching Umar Linguistics. So in this short video, uh, we'll look at cardinal vowels. So I'm going to discuss them briefly. Uh, otherwise, there is a lot of discussion which we can do on cardinal vowels. Cardinal also means something important or very important. So uh, these are eight in numbers. So there are eight cardinal vowels. They are used as a reference uh, for a phonetician who is interested to study any kind of language. So how they are used as a reference vowels? As reference vowels, let's see. Uh, actually, these are the eight reference, uh, eight cardinal vowels. These were designed by the famous phonetician Daniel Jones who has also written Cambridge English Pronunciation Dictionary. So let me explain uh, these vowels from another picture. So uh, the vowels uh, which are on the left side of this quadrilateral, these are the front vowels and those at the right side of this quadrilateral these are called the back vowels why they are called front or back because while producing front vowels the highest part of the tongue or in other words the tongue will move forward in mouth so and in back vowels the tongue will move backward in mouth or uh, tongue will become high from back part if you just produce uh, these two vowels e O, e o e o you will notice in e your tongue is moving slightly forward or you will notice that this part will raise uh, and tongue will be uh, much in front of uh, mouse and in back vowels tongue will move backward now how they are these are used as reference vowels and what does it mean so for example we have just these four vowels uh, the most front uh, and yeah one more thing as we move from uh, upward to bottom so the vowels become low so this this is called the high vowel why because the tongue is has the highest position and as we move down the tongue will be will be coming lower in mouse and therefore the this last vowel is called the low vowel uh, these two vowels between the high and the low vowels are called mid high this this uh, vowel is called mid high because it is more close to the high high vowel and uh, this vowel is called the uh, mid low vowel or in a complete sense front mid low vowel because it is close to the lower vowel same is the case with the back vowels uh, oo will be the high back vowel a will be the back low back vowel and this o will be the um, mid high back vowel and this will be uh, mid low back vowel now this is the highest vowel so anything if the tongue move even above this vowel uh, this vowel e if the tongue move uh, more upward then it will be no more a vowel but it will become a consonant why because you can see there is a, just a slight difference uh, just a minute difference uh, between the palatal and the tongue so now if the tongue touches the palatal then definitely a consonant will be produced because in consonant we know air is obstructed and in vowels air does not obstruct so if the tongue touches to the palatal in that case yeah or this kind of consonant will produce same is the case with back vowel if tongue moves more upward position it will be it will become a velar sound like kerg or it will uh, and similarly uh, the lowest vowel a or and this a has 
the tongue position lowest in the mouth if the tongue moves more lower to this position then it will become another consonant which is laryngeal consonant so therefore uh, just an example if i want to study any language so i know all the vowels of that language will occur in these positions they cannot move beyond these positions they will occur in these position also possible that because these are the eight english vowels it is highly possible that many languages have uh, this high vowel the same back vowel like english but uh, all vowels will occur in these extreme vowels no vowel will occur outside of that position so therefore uh, these are called the cardinal vowels or the most important vowels or the reference vowels now let me show you uh, uh, two websites which will be helpful to understand this position like mid low back etc so this website is span or sale.usc so it was designed by university of southern california and in this all the sounds are recorded in mri so magnetic resonance imaging so for example we were discussing this front vowel e now if i click on this e e e so what you are noticing tongue is moving in the front of the mouth okay and it it is almost close to the palatal it does not touch palatal unless the sound is produced after the sound is produced it will touch it may touch palatal but you can see it is very close to the roof of the mouth so therefore it is sometimes called front close why it is sometimes called close because there is almost no distance there is only a slight distance between the palatal and the tongue so therefore these high vowels are sometimes also called the close vowel so the close and high are synonymous in this case now just look at a back vowel ooh 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 so you can easily notice the tongue is moving backward in the mouth and once again because o is the high back vowel so tongue is very close to the uh, velar velum position so uh, another website is a course in phonetics you can also use this so i hope uh, this video would have been helpful jazakallah khairan and thank you